So here we have a run of the mill Predator 212. She's pretty basic right out of the box. It's actually been sitting in storage a little bit. But I remember seeing a picture on Instagram of someone who took like a Chevy 350 and put carburetors on every single exhaust runner and then made the intake the exhaust. And ever since I saw that thing, we've been wanting to try to do that on a Predator. Um, so I'm sure you're pretty intrigued by this thumbnail. I don't know if this vid's gonna get a lot of views. It's kind of just stupid, but like, it's something I've wanted to do and we've just like been thinking about and we we're kind of out of content for the time being, waiting on some parts. So we're gonna do it. But before we can start getting the carburetor just bolted onto the exhaust, I wanna go over to the drawing board and figure out the things we need to prove before we waste a bunch of time. So we're gonna apply a little bit of a scientific method to this thing. The first thing we need to check for is if this thing makes vacuum through the exhaust when it's cranked over in the reverse direction. So that's kind of the first step. If it doesn't draw in anything um, because of the cam or however that works, then we're out of luck. The next thing we're gonna check for is we're gonna take off the spark plug, crank it over, see if we have spark. And after that, before we start doing the fabrication with our carburetor and stuff like that, we'll just use starter fluid. And then after that, we'll do the fab to get the carb up, make a cool exhaust, and see if it runs backwards. And then when it's running backwards, it's actually quite interesting because like the, the things like the cam gears and stuff are actually going to be going in the opposite direction than they were engineered to turn. Kind of like if you were um, towing something in reverse, um, kind of how the differential gears don't quite line up the right way. So it might just blow up, um, but we're here for that. That would be pretty fun. All right, so first thing we gotta do is just pull everything off. We do not need this top plate, and we also don't need the carb over there, obviously, so. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Oh. Yep, it's got vacuum. It makes good vacuum. Good. Okay. Running backwards. I'm actually pretty curious, like, I think it has a chance. I, I don't know, man. This is so weird. I mean, we, yeah. All right. Wow. I don't think that's ever come out, actually. So, check number one off the list. Now we ought to pull the spark plug and see if it's going to work. I, I guess maybe my only concern is if, like, when it's running over backwards, the magneto might not work in the same way. There, I mean, it should be a pretty easy test, right? All right, so there's a little spark there. Oh man, we might be out of luck right now. Step one, we'll switcheroo. Flipping the coil. This is kind of dumb, guys. Ta, it's gonna reach too. Yeah, she's gonna rip for about 30 seconds, maybe. I actually don't know if this is gonna work. It kind of makes sense, though. I don't know. We're just doing this for fun. I, I really enjoy kind of troubleshooting randomly with this sort of stuff. All right, kiddos, moment of truth. <laughs> 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 it worked, bro. Oh, this is this. stupid. Oh, he just flipped flip flip her over. Oh, That's so good stuff smart. right there. Let's see, is this gonna reach? Let's see, let's see. Okay, well, that's right where exhaust is coming out, so. For testing, it'll be all right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a dab of starter fluid in there and see what happens. All right, moment of truth, my dear friends. Let's uh, cross our fingers. I think it's gonna work. Like, I'm actually pretty confident. Hold up, we have a little stand thing that we can bolt it to. It's probably a good idea because I only have so many hands. So it just has some bolts put on there, so it slides on. That should hopefully keep it from running away. Yeah, right. Go. Wait. 
crank it down, and then we'll let it rip. Here goes nothing. I'm actually kind of scared. I think it'll be okay. Though. Ready? Yep. Oh, wait. Okay. Ready? It's gonna run, dude. It's dude, it's fire. Run. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That wasn't smart. <laughs> uh, I was like, man, it did run. <laughs> How is it on fire but still running? Well, the good news is it ran a little bit. The bad news yeah. is it detonated and caught on fire. Um, so do you think we should put a carb on it or do you want to keep trying with I mean, it? I think it, it seemed like it kind of like got one good ignition and then wasn't running right. And maybe that's why. I think we should try again. With star food? Like, I don't know. It seemed like we got like one good fire and then after that everything was just like burning up the intake. Okay. But we can see. Maybe hold on the starter food next time if it uh, dies. Yeah. Or catches on fire. But face shields were a good idea. I agree. Okay, so instead of like spraying the starter fluid. Oh, you know what? I bet what happened is the starter fluid was probably in the same range as the exhaust. So what happened is I bet it sparked from over here. Oh, right. Maybe that's yeah. that's very likely. So, anyways, to avoid that, we're just gonna put this Go Power Sports FMB header pipe on there. Link in the description, <laughs> and we'll be able to inject starter fluid into here. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not that sketch. Uh, it sounded like it, it exhausted. Like it sounded like a normal go kart exhaust. What do you uh, mean? Like it shot flames back. Oh really? Let's try it again. Go. Ready? Okay, ready? Yep. Set, go. <laughs> Dude, I could have sworn. Yeah, it exhausted out of here. Like that did not sound like it was going through there. It sounded like a go kart exhaust. How does it run like that then? Do you think our cam's off? Well, we can't really change it. Like, Let's look so at it sounded way. like it, it pulls it in for like once, and then it explodes it, and then runs right. Hey, let's, we're gonna review the footage and see if we have exhaust coming out of the intake. Ooh. Okay, I'll do it. I don't know. Let's I mean, try it It now. turned. I feel a little bit better about this thing now that it's on the ground too. All right, ready? All right. Three, three two, one, go. Did it run? Oh, I mean, it fired. Ready? Okay. Ready? What? <laughs> Dude, it's kind of loud. <laughs> <laughs> Best project ever. Yes! Ah, power! 212s! Yeah, this looks super cool right now. Yeah, I mean, I've never good. seen a predator like this. Yeah, man. <laughs> but our new plan is so we're thinking that um, the, the uh, starter fluid kind of showed us that, like, Having the carb all the way out here is not gonna be a good idea because when it backfires, we're gonna have like all of this full, basically just a pipe bomb of gas. So we're gonna just, we have this other header and we're gonna cut it like as short as we can to get it level and then we'll have our carb like sitting up here. Pretty nice. It looks cool though. Feast your eyes, friends. <laughs> it's about as good as it gets. I'm uh, gonna bolt it up. Carb's gonna go into here. I actually don't know if this is cocked right, but yeah, yeah. We're sorry about this whole video. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah, it's gonna work, dude. That went I think it's gonna work. Yeah. It fired well out of there. Yeah. All right, guys. Cherry on top. <laughs> That's beautiful. Right. Thank you, Go Power Sports. <laughs> uh, Have you ever seen a prettier predator? I don't think
think so. Yeah. All right, fuel on. Yep. She's looking good, guys. This is actually gonna be hilarious if it works. I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to, like, I've, I've literally been talking about this for so long. Um, I'm probably been annoying them, but we are about to do it. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I give it a 50% chance of working. I don't think it just blow up, like. No. I mean, that'd be cool, kind of. It can handle, it'll handle, like, backfires. Like, it's not gonna explode. Okay, here goes nothing. Put some. You ready? Yeah. Stops when the surf fluid comes off. Huh. That is weird. It's almost like it's not meant to do this. Damn. We're so close though. I mean, we could try the McCuney. That was a failure. So we're gonna try to throw a McCuney on it at least. Mm -hmm. All right. We we're kind of low on the uh, on the morale and stuff right now, but we're. Oh yeah, we're also just using the McCuney off the little rascal, and <laughs> we're literally using this throttle. It's really stupid. This is high effort. It's kind of fun. Like we're just enjoying yeah. ourselves. Like it, it. I don't know. You gotta do something like not as legit every once in a while, just to like kind of let some steam off. Maybe you guys don't have to do that, but I kind of have this sort of creative energy that I need to get rid of, or it kind of carry over to this stuff. Yep. All right, ready? It's gonna work. All right, all right, oh, all right. we just needed a McCooney. All right, all right let's go. <laughs> oh, we did it. Okay, ready? Kind of. All right, ready? Try to go. Oh, it's so close. All right, you can just sit over there. See if it can run longer. Ready? Yeah. Oh, mm. dude, that was like no. Is like, that? You want to try to turn the choke off? Or it was off, right? It's yeah. on right now. Oh. Okay. Sure. okay. I'm gonna keep my foot back right here. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah, so we so have it likes to choke. It's well, also this car, this Makuni. It shoots meant, so many flames. Well, yeah, this Makuni is meant for the little rascal, which has a two twenty five tilt. That's true. So it's definitely not jetted, right? All right, ready? All right. Yep. Oh. 
I mean, she's not happy, but she runs. I know. Dude, it sounds, it sounds, it, I don't know, I just wanted to do this. If y'all don't, I, I don't know how this video is gonna do. The comments will probably be atrocious, um, but I've always wanted to try it, so sorry. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Ah. You gotta be very careful. Wow. Maybe I'll try and rev it up a bit and then turn up, ch turn choke off. Try to like get it to climb. Yeah. All right. That's enough We're done. <laughs> that was horrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that is about to explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're calling it. It's, it's over. <laughs> we did it, boys. <laughs> well, that's where we're going to call it for a video. We're calling it a day. Um, yeah, this started out as an idea, and here it is in front of me. Kind of just something that probably shouldn't have been done to begin with. But it was interesting, to say the least. And it was really fun to just kind of try it. And it did run. Um, Jason, we kind of pulled it off in a panic because it was just climbing and climbing in RPMs and a run, like a, kind of like a runway diesel or something like that. Um, so... Yeah, this isn't feasible. I guess we were thinking that, hey, maybe for some reason it might actually work if you run it backwards and kind of flip everything around and then we could put it on a cart or something. Um, and you know what? Maybe if we kind of got the jetting right and spent like a couple more days on this thing, then that could be the case. But that would require spending a couple more days on this. Um, and we just don't think that's really worth it. Um, but if you're intrigued, you can try it yourself and send us a video on Instagram or something like that. We'd love to see it. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Um, while we kind of deface some of their parts in this video, they are from Go Power Sports. So check them out. We'll put the links in the description. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.